good morning colleagues, uh, friends. Uh, uh, thank you for inviting me to come and talk about the postgraduate bridging program. I've been fortunate enough to be part of this uh, from the beginning when it was formed. And so today uh, I'll be talking to you about the, some of the achievements and the highlights. Yeah. Next page, next slide. Um, yeah, so this program, sorry, we all know that NASP was founded in 2003 by a consortium of universities and research institutes and observatories in South Africa. It has produced a very large number of uh, masters, uh, students, students with master's degree, but there was a challenge in the first five years that the, uh, the program NASP was not producing enough uh, 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 black South African. In fact, very, very few, we're getting very, very few black South Africans and very few of them were graduating. So, and really part of the problem was that none of the participating universities were graduating black students at that stage. So, and we knew that uh, at the time, uh, historically black universities were where black students were. And so uh, the idea was then uh, to try and uh, attract them to the NAS program and that uh, and that is how, sorry, next uh, next slide. That is how the, the winter school was formed. So the idea of the winter school was to advertise or, uh, uh, a NAS program at these historically black universities, recruit them, bring them to one place where there's an observatory in Cape Town, uh, and then uh, bring in professional astronomers to come and motivate and, uh, and uh, excite their minds about astronomy. And I think we did quite, quite well, as you see with the numbers. But also once you've attracted the students into the NAS program, you wanted also to make sure that uh, they, they succeed uh, uh, and, and go on either to become astronomers or to join the industry with the skills that we would have would have imparted to them. Next slide. So uh, the winter school was really designed to be the main recruitment tool for the for bringing uh, HBU students to NASP. And the way that we used to do this was a few of us would travel around to these different universities. So we traveled almost the entire country from the north to the south to different universities, historically black universities talk about the NAS program, talk about the observatory and, and astronomy, and try and uh, get them to apply for the winter school. Uh, we wanted students with physics three and maths two, or maths three and physics two, uh, because those, those would have uh, enough background to be able to do postgraduate astronomy. Next, and then I'm listing there, uh, some of the universities that we uh, uh, that were participating or that we used to go and recruit from uh, University of Limpopo, Northwest University Mahikeng campus, University of Zululand, Western Cape, Forte, University of Free State, University of Venda and Nelson Mandela University. Uh, I think there's two others that I left out in there, but uh, those were the main ones. And so what we would do during the winter school would be uh, have astronomers uh, from UCT, from the Western Cape, UCT and UWC, to uh, give lectures, morning lectures on the different topics of astronomy uh, listed there, stars, galaxies, cosmology, planetary, uh, astronomy, computing, telescopes. And then also we took the students on a tour of Sutherland to go and see a, 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 a professional observatory, how it looks like and how it operates. And also one of the highlights of the winter school it, uh, was uh, getting the students, the winter school students, to interact with prominent South African astronomers and international astronomers. But almost every year that the winter school was held, uh, Professor George Ellis kindly would come and have lunch with the students and chat to them about how to become a, 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 a good scholar, a good scientist. And those were really enjoyed by the students. Uh, they were very highly motivating those kind of interactions. And some other years we invited Douglas Grove, 
go back to the previous night. <laughs> Uh, uh, that last golf, uh, who really gave very beautiful uh, uh, motivational talks, you know, especially during the, the awards dinner and things like that, and as well as Don Cats. And also the Winter School offered an opportunity for students to network amongst themselves. Some of them really established relationships and friend, friendships that lasted uh, a very long time. So it was really a great uh, opportunity for the the young people. Yeah, next slide. Uh, there I have a picture of one of the, the product of the winter school and the bridging program. He's now a doctor, Zido. He's a, 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 and a really, I have to say that he, he he's, he's passionate about the winter school uh, and he's been really playing a, a leading role in, in planning and organizing the winter school, especially in the recent years. Uh, really, uh, I, I highly appreciate his commitment. Yeah. Okay, the next slide. Uh, there's a picture of the winter school uh, students in one of the years uh, in front of the salt uh, dome. And also in that picture to your right is somebody, one of the unsung heroes, really, uh, Dr. Sefako. Uh, really, really working in the background and ensuring all the time that uh, the winter school was a success and even looking after these uh, youngsters you know i've seen him do some really amazing acts of kindness so really i think maybe i want to take this opportunity to to appreciate him as well because i think uh, we haven't appreciated him publicly for his role in the winter school and probably even in the bridging program so wonderful yeah next slide and also some of the things that we, we, we do, we did every time during the winter school was to get the students to give presentation, to teach them how to give presentations about the projects that, the, that they were doing. So that was really often a very entertaining <laughs> part of the winter school. And from there, and we use this as part of the assessment when they apply for the postgraduate bridging program. So th this were really uh, great, uh, uh, again, experiences for everyone. Yeah. Uh, next slide. And uh, in 2018, for the first time, the winter school was held outside of uh, SAO in my hometown, in Mahiking, where we have a small university observatory with a 20 inch telescope and a 16 inch. And uh, I think it was okay. It, it was really, did very well. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, next slide. And before I discuss the stats, I also want to appreciate other people. I mean, I think uh, people like uh, Eunice. I know you don't. I know you don't know that I knew you that you you were strongly supporting us during discussions at the NRF uh, on matters of funding and so on. So we appreciate your role. And of course, uh, 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 Sally. I mean, he's been working very closely with us to make sure that the winter school was a success as well. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and then um, the stats the, from 2008 when uh, we had our first winter school and uh, uh, PGB until 2018 when it changed and we started having notes at two other institutions. During that 10 years uh, period, we had about 400 uh, black South Africans going through the winter school and it was an average of about 40 students per year attending the winter school. Uh, the numbers ranging from 10 to 50 students. And many went to become uh, science teachers, which is good because that means they became good ambassadors of astronomy when they, they go into the teaching uh, job market. And of course, as you will see and uh, through today and tomorrow, some join NASP and some are working already as professional astronomers. Some have joined industry. So this has been quite a, a great uh, achievement. Okay, next slide. Yeah, so the postgraduate bridging program is a collaboration or as a collaboration between the Center for Higher Education at UCT and the science uh, faculty. And the idea was, as I have indicated before, was that once you bring these students from universities that did not have astronomy programs, 
we needed to come up with a, a curriculum support uh, to make sure that uh, uh, they succeed and, and uh, graduate their masters. And this is what really the PGP, PGP was all about. And so during that extra year of honors, uh, they would do uh, astronomy uh, as a focus, computational physics. Two minutes, you know, please. They have done computational physics where they came from, mathematics, physics, and, and language and things like that. And uh, from 2008 to 2018, the PGP was held at UCT and it was ab ably designed by Sally and it has produced some remarkable students. I mean, I can mention Lerato Sebokolodi, who really from uh, an HBU to UCT and, and becoming one of the top in her honors class shows you the kind of caliber of some of the students we were uh, able to uh, produce. Another example is uh, Dr. Zuido, whose picture I've showed you before. Yeah, so great achievement. And then uh, next slide. Um, you got and then less the than two stats. minutes, TB. Mm. Sorry? You got less than two minutes, please. Okay, I'll, I'll go fast, yeah. So there are the stats which indicate that uh, we have had 91 students in the PGP program since inception or until 2018 and uh, and all of them are black south africans uh, unfortunately we didn't do very well in terms of female students only 23 percent of the students are female and uh, most of the students i mean they are the numbers so uh, next slide um in fact i'm at the end of my talk actually so uh, so Close to 80% of the students obtain that honors degree of these PGP students, and more than half of the honors students went on to do masters. 21 students went on to do PhD, of which 10 have graduated and 11 are, are in progress. I think this is a great success. Uh, thank you, and I, I want to thank everyone who was involved in this. I'm very proud to be associated with both the Winter School and the uh, PGP and NASP uh, and, and, and I hope that the NASP can have a closer working relationship with AFAS as well so that we can have joint projects uh, from now on. Thank you very much. Uh, that's the end of my presentation.